Okay, welcome to a good um, a Holy Thursday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. And um, what's up about quite an interesting discussion or topic that we have here. Something I saw yesterday and it really, really, really was quite bothered. It was, it, it was it bordered on discrimination, it bordered on um, abuse, it bordered on uh, stigmatization, exactly. Uh, it, was, it was all shades of humiliation. Wrong. Yeah, so uh, let's see if I can read out some part of it. It was, uh, this is uh, based off, uh, let's see, let's see if I can read out some exactly what it is here. Um, okay, it's quite long. Let me summarize it. A disabled person was about to fly and was in the international airport, was about to fly to the UK and had to wait a bit, I think about, uh, about two, three hours. I would normally go to a particular restaurant to eat. To eat. I went to this particular place. An international restaurant. Mm. Mm. And when I went to this particular place and uh, was told that he should leave because he was in a wheelchair. Mm. And said they would not allow wheelchairs. It repeatedly went on and on and on. The family was involved. The manager of the place had to insist that the person leaves because the person is, a wheelchair, is in a wheelchair. I said there are no wheelchairs here. And they finally had to go out, go to somewhere. The wife and other members of the family came back just to ensure that they had this on tape and asked the manager, recorded the interaction, and the manager insisted that there are no wheelchairs allowed in the place. And I wonder how and what will make someone decide. I, first of all, I, I, don't, I, don't, it's not, it's, it's, I don't think any well-thinking organization would have such a discriminatory uh, uh, policy and so but if they do or if they don't how is it so that a manager decides to make up that because this is a particular branch that was at the international airport somewhere that is a gateway out of a country that should represent the best values and then you hear something like this happening it's it's troubling i was very i was very pissed um, on, on other forums, I may probably call out the brand and all of that, but this, uh, how can this happen? I mean, you have one in six people in Nigeria being disabled. Mm. Some, of course, are born with such, you know, and then there are some people, and then a lot of other people have got, had accidents. I mean, the, the, it has happened to people. Some people who are even able to have been disabled at some point in their life and then got, you know, got better, got treated, got better. Yeah. It could be an accident, something that you don't plan. You probably know somebody, either a family member or a friend, somebody around you, definitely is missed, is disabled. How dare you? How do you stand up? How? I'm trying to think about it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put, wrap my head around it. How do you do this? How do you do that? Um, I saw, I caught up on the story yesterday, and to be honest, it was very appalling. Um, this was Benga Danielson, mm. he's the former governor of Ogun State. Uh, Benga Daniel, this was his son, Depola Daniel, who experienced this. And um, like I said earlier on, it was very, very appalling. The physically challenged people in Nigeria have, you know, um, well, they have held protests in the past, you know, demanding, you know, some form of inclusion. Inclusion across, you know, different industries, different sectors. Inclusion also for, they've also demanded for their rights as well. And in this sort of scenario, in this sort of situation, it actually brings to mind, there was this particular viral um, ad, you know, to create awareness on Down syndrome that is currently trending. And this girl who has Down syndrome was talking about, I mean, if you do not allow me, if, if in your mind you have already built those walls around me, you haven't even given me the chance to, you know, express myself. How do you know that I will not be able to do it if I'm given the chance? You know, it still bothers on discrimination, you know, um, in, in a nutshell. And hearing about this and this happening in these times, it is very, very, very appalling. And to be honest, now come to think about it, even, you know, uh, everywhere in the world, everywhere, in the, let's, let me use Nigeria, yeah, because even you, there are certain considerations made for you know, physically challenged people in other parts of the world. But in Nigeria here, how many organizations actually, you know, include the physically challenged? Quite a number of them. Quite a number of them. And let I'm me not just start, talking let about, me start, let me start know, from I'm here. I'm also talking about, so you for know. example, for example, for someone with a wheelchair, right, 
are there like um you know yeah that's all another thing Quite, let me start from to, here know, let me start from tvc you know. here let me start from tvc yes. here up until of course um uh, our building was ascent as it yeah. were we did we had we had a yeah, walkway, walkway and a path mm -hmm. and a place that was specially designated for yeah, handicapped mm -hmm. or uh, physically, uh, physically challenged. challenged people and uh, when you get to that place you see you see a sign there's a wheelchair on it it's mm -hmm. closer to the entrance yes and even parking spots mm -hmm. there's a point whereby you don't park there if you don't have a physically challenged person mm -hmm. and in many other standard organizations or multinationals you see those kind of things so you see, you see those special, special definitions, even in car parks, you see places where they tell you that, okay, ah, this is the place. You either see that wheelchair or you see crutches and all of that. So it, 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 I, I see it a lot in places that their head is correct. So it's funny and shocking that you go to somewhere and somebody will blatantly insist not to you at an international yeah, airport. It's not even any other place. Mm. At an international airport. That person should be caught because you see a lot, a lot of people who are physical challenge. Not be their fault. It could be anyone. You are working. It could be you tomorrow. There are a lot of people who are able today, and tomorrow you will not be able. Why? Because a lot of things happen. Life happens. Yeah. You understand? So it's so sad and annoying that this kind of thing should be happening at this particular point in time. And I recommend such a person. Mm -hmm. I, I don't normally call about such a person should not be, at least at the, at, the, at, the, at the best case scenario, should not be at that particular branch, especially in an airport. When we're talking about immigration officials, the airport is the first yes, point, uh, of, point contact. of contact. And, and the last place where you country. go, where you yeah. come in and go out with mm -hmm. a country. So if that thing happened in the airport, you have the mind. If somebody was coming in from outside and saw that kind of thing, you would say, ah, this is how this will behave. So we're not just, not the country, the organ, the company now no the company as at yes, that time they are the representing no no you have to understand that if you are in an airport you are representing the country you are a nigerian and that, like well, i said it's the first I impression agree, people have to be when honest, people talk about when, when that happens when people talk about immigration officers are all nigerians do we all do all nigerians ask for a gunjay or something but when you see immigration officials stop you at a different point in time mm. asking you for different things you think that all nigerians are that way you know, but then I feel like it also bothers on our policies, still going back to it, Mike, because I would like to believe that even the government has a role to play in this. It still bothers on the policies. I know that right now we have, um, I know there's Adenike Oyetunde, she's the one um, for Lagos State in charge of, you know, disabled persons in, in Lagos. Now, still pushing for policies. I know that there has been a push from a few representatives you know, from the disabled community to push for policies for some level of inclusion, right? And um, I think this has to be more, you know, um, effective because the truth is, it's not, so yes, he went through this just in an organization. There are also other people who are going through, you know, some level of discrimination yeah. in their own little, yeah. you know, but quarters, see, but in their own communities. On this particular case, in, in their no be policy matter. On this particular case, is a case of somebody's humanity in the mud. Somebody who thinks, whose brain is quite mad. You don't. I, I, it's 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 shocking, especially that this person has been do, coming to that particular place. So this is probably you coming to say new management or it something felt like or an new attack. or something and all of that. It's quite very wrong. And for and forget and it's not a case of who the person's son or who the person's father is. Mm. It's a case of a human being that this could happen to you. You could step out of that place and basically not your own fault. I was talking about mm. people were talking about driving in Lagos. Things happen and it's not your own fault. True. You understand? It's not your own fault, but it just happens. Yeah. Accident happens. Life happens. So, if you think this way, if you've ever done this way, your mindset is gutter. <laughs> you, 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 you need to be... You, 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 need, you, need, you, need, you need to be out of normal society. Yeah, but it's wrong. Yeah. You don't discriminate against people that you way. Yeah. You don't go out spewing hate. Yeah. And in, in some way or the other, you should leave that place. I, I, at least leave that branch or to somewhere else. Go to somewhere where got up mindset people like you yeah, are. Yeah, so this just sort of also brings to awareness, you know, how do you treat the people that are physically challenged around us? Do we totally ignore them? Do we, you know, just relegate them? Um, so this, I, it, I mean, it calls for our sense of humanity here in our communication and in our relationships with them. Let's do better as a people and also as a nation as well, yeah. All right. So, We'll take a time and I'll stay with us. We'll be back in a bit.